I just tell you like this before I start this article again is that yes, people are looking. There's a 90, let's say 90. Let's say there's a 96% chance ain't nobody thinking about you like that. Welcome to the Success Fitness Podcast. I am your host, Christian Evans. This podcast is for adults who want to achieve success in their fitness journey. And I'm going to help you do just that. But first, let me ask you this. What's stopping you from working out? Is it fear? Is it not knowing what to do at the gym? Or could it be you're too embarrassed to exercise? In today's podcast, I'll share with you how to overcome those mental barriers and an alternative that I can help you with. But first, a word from our sponsors. Are you looking for a personal trainer that will focus on you to help achieve success in your fitness journey? If yes, please book your in-person or Zoom one-on-one personal training sessions with me, Christian Evans at ChristiansWeightSuccess.net. Welcome back to the podcast, and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to listen to me, but let's get right into it. 68% of people are too embarrassed to exercise. This is according to an article written by Laura Hampson, October 13th, 2023. And I will have this article written at news.yahoo.com. And I always find just interesting articles that I believe that uh, you will be interested in. But this one hits close to home because you hear that a lot in regards to one may be embarrassed to go work out or gym or gym intimidation. You know, that's what Planet Fitness kind of revolves their mantra around about no gym intimidation or whatever. But yet you're always seeing these <laughs> rules and regulations on what you can and can't do at the gym that are pretty much standard practices at any gym. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read this article for you and chime in on what my two cents are or is in regards to what I read off, but it's pretty interesting. So this is titled how to overcome gym embarrassment as 68% of people are too embarrassed to exercise. So this is a short read again, written by Laura Hampson. And I will have the link to this article in the description. So we're going to start off with if you're an exercise novice, then working out in public or at the gym can be intimidating to say the least. In fact, a new survey has found that two thirds, 68% of adults feel too embarrassed to go to the gym because they don't fit the profile of a typical gym goer. Now I want to pause this right here because I noticed this and this is valid. So as a personal trainer, since 2017, the notion of I'm not fit enough to go to the gym or what a gym goer typically looks like, I would say falls on us. It falls on us far as those in the industry, those in the fitness industry, um, those who you know have gyms, whether they could be commercial gyms or home gyms or what I will call your fitness influencers, what may have you. Right. And I started to really think about this probably about two years ago of the messaging. You know, what is the messaging that I'm sending out? You know, let me clean my house first. You know, hopefully it isn't that any exercise that I may put up um, in regards to my clients, let's say it's too much for the average person. Right. And that is so subjective. That is that is very subjective. And, you know, far as for exercises and, you know, how they're demonstrated, because what one can do, somebody else may can do. Let's start with that. And then the flip side of that coin is what somebody may can do. Somebody may not can do. But it's how do you feel about that? How do you feel about, you know, let's say, you know, not being able to lift deadlift, bench press, or run as much or as fast as, let's say, you know, your neighbor. I don't know. Let's just throw throw that into the mix, right? I think we have to start being okay with not being someone else, right? You know, you wake up and you look in the mirror and you are you, and you are not the next person. You're not even the same person who is under your roof, Right. And those things are true. But why why is it that when it comes to the gym or exercises that 
we immediately compare ourselves to somebody who was not us. And I think, again, we as personal trainers or those who are sending out messages have to do, let's say, a better, more concise job of transparency on what it is, right? Um, But the visualization, you're going to see the super, what y'all will call, you know, snatched, snatched bodies or whatever, um, the super human physical specimens um, of people who go to the gym and, you know, this super smiley, happy-go-lucky, euphoric place that may not always be that for someone else. Personally, I have never been embarrassed to go to a gym or ever, and this is something new that I had to understand that my clients were experiencing, and I had no clue. When I first started personal training back in 2017, the fear that clients would express to me about the gym was something totally different. I didn't believe them at first, but I had to start listening. I'm like, well, okay, you know, again, my experience is not their experience. And just listening to what they said and some of the things they said that concerned them about going to the gym. And it was just eye opening. It was just eye opening. And you know, with that, that catapulted me to, start really training a lot from my home gym just to give you give my clients that extra layer of security that you know whatever you're feeling you don't have to worry about anybody else looking at you if that's what you feel or you know just kind of just being intimidated by the equipment and the space and getting there and all that kind of stuff so you know I get it and I try to do a conscious job of just making sure who I do put in my videos and my clients are in my videos and they're actually doing the actual exercise not just hey you know hold this weight and do this for this shot no this is actually you know in in real time I try to make sure it's a representation of the clientele that I want and the clientele that I am, you know, I'm, I'm looking for, right. Is just somebody who's just wants to just start to feel better. Right. Now we can get more into this, but I just wanted to, you know, go in, into that, into those two lines. We're only, you know, two paragraphs into the first, uh, uh, we're only two paragraphs into this article and, you know, reading that, um, you know, 68% of adults, feel too embarrassed to go to the gym because they don't fit the profile of a typical gym goer. Now I would be interested to see what that profile is or looks like according to them, but let's move on to the article. Imagine a non-pharmaceutical performance device that can help you breathe easy, reduce exercise fatigue and shortness of breath all while improving your cardio performance. It's called the Breather Fit. The Breather Fit is evidence-based, drug-free respiratory muscle training, or RMT for short. It's designed to help athletes of all levels, elite military professionals, first responders, and people with physically demanding roles like you to gain an elite performance edge. Unlike most other respiratory trainers, Breather Fit trains both inspiratory and expiratory muscles. The independent dial system allows you to create highly targeted training protocols as well. With over 2 million units sold, Breather Fit is the next evolution in RMT. It was developed from the success of the Breather Health device. It has also been used in clinical applications to help chronic respiratory illness and help patients regain function and quality of life. Simply put, the RMT protocol designed to work with Breather Fit means working out more effectively and accelerated recovery from your workout. With Breather Fit, all it takes is 10 breaths for two sets, twice a day, six days a week. You can also record your performance to get useful and timely feedback with the Breather Coach app. Breather Fit is your secret weapon to maximize performance and meet your personal best. With Breather Fit, you work hard, but breathe easy. Use my code FITBREATHE at checkout to get 20% off at pnmedical.com slash product slash breather dash fit. The link will be in my show notes. A further 49% of the 2000 respondents surveyed by ASIC said they wish they had more confidence to exercise while 23% of people who don't regularly exercise said that they are too embarrassed to start now. Now, this is concerning because, you know, we as people, we tend to, 
I hate this. I hate this. But I'll say it. You know, make excuses. You know, make excuses. But there is and are such things as excuses, right? And don't want to go too much into that because, once again, so many things are subjective. But they're too embarrassed to start now. One thing I've noticed with my clients and wanting to give them something extra and what I felt what was really needed was meal prep. My history, you know, I've worked in kitchens for almost 20 years and like the line in the Godfather, whenever they, whenever I try to get out, they pull me right back in. I did not want to meal prep. I did not want to cook. I I wanted to leave that life when I started personal training, but what I found that people really needed help on in addition to these workouts that I'm giving them is meal prep, right? Just having something done that's readily available for them that way that gives them a better chance at sticking to their fitness goals and nutrition is primary. Nutrition is first in that. And I'm like, okay, you know, let me start meal prepping. And I decided to name it day one meals because we've all had those moments where we're sticking to our diets, everything goes good. And then just magically out of nowhere, Thanksgiving comes up, then Christmas, then New Year's and we indulge and we celebrate and we eat and we don't indulge and we celebrate. And you know, come the first week or second week in January, hashtag new year, new me. It is time to buckle down. And with that being said, it's like, okay, let me get my meal preps right. Let me, you know, start over. And so this is why I call it day one meals. Because in the same instance, it could be middle of the summer. You're working out. You're sticking to your meal plan. You stick into your regiment, then let's say some way, somehow, you fall off track. Right? A week goes by, two weeks go by, or whatever the time frame. But anytime you're ready to start back up, then you're saying, you know what? I gotta start back up. I gotta start eating right. That day is day one. So that's why I call it day one meals. So when people talk about their too worried that people will, will judge them and they're too embarrassed to start now. Every day can be a day one. Every day can be a day one. Any day that we are blessed to wake up and breathe air, open our eyes and able to hear and see and touch and feel the world, it's a day one. It's a new start. It's a new start. So let's work on getting rid of that mindset of being too embarrassed to start now, and I'm going to help you with that, but let's get right back into the article. I further, one in five, 18% of people said they would be too worried that people would judge them when they're working out as they are too unfit. Now, with that being said, kind of reiterating what I just said a couple seconds ago, we think too much of other people when they are not us. Am I saying something is directly wrong with it? Yes. Am I saying, uh, have I ever felt that way? I have. Did it get to me? I have. And what I said to you was the conclusion of kind of just getting down and thinking too much. Overthinking. We can overthink way too much. And I'm not saying that your feelings are not valid. Those feelings are not valid at all. What I'm saying is the conclusion of analyzing what that feels like in real time to to me and what I have to start telling myself to kind of just get over it, you know, to to just really just get over it. You got to you got to forge your way. Right. And a lot of times we don't have that assistance that we need. We don't have that assistance that we need or that we feel that we may need to guide us to where we need to go. And again, I'm going to help you with all that, but let's get back to the article. It's no secret that regular exercise can provide a slew of benefits. The NHS recommends 150 minutes of activity per week, which is just about 30 minutes a day 
for five days. It adds that exercising can reduce your risk of major illnesses such as a stroke, type 2 diabetes, cancer, coronary heart disease, and even lower your risk of death by 30%. So if you are wanting to develop a regular exercise routine but are too worried about gym embarrassment, firstly, know that you are not alone. Almost all of the reasons people feel intimidated or embarrassed about exercising, especially in front of others in a setting gym, in a setting like a gym, come down to two things, comparing themselves to others and the fear of being judged. Abby Watkins, personal trainer at Ori Gyms, tells Yahoo UK. Whether this is due to worrying more experience, excuse me, let's start this over. Whether this is due to worrying more experienced gym goers will judge your form or lack of fitness knowledge or the result of low self-esteem. The fear of being judged does unfortunately put many people off stepping foot into the gym. So with that being said, I have been working in commercial gyms, health clubs since 2017. And I'm not a psychic. I'm not a mind reader. I'm not a, what do you call it? Empath, telepath or whatever, where I can hear people's mindsets or thoughts without them telling me, but I can just go off of what I see and I can go off of what I've, what I've seen from my clients and hear what they've said and talking to potential clients and their, and their worries or how they feel. Let me rephrase that. How they, how they feel. You know what? I've been jonesing for pizza lately, but I'm trying to get better at eating better, not eating out so much and subscribing to the we got food at home mentality. So I chose to cook what I bought from Sam's salmon prices have been so high, but Sam's had it five dollars off today. Last week, I found a bag of quinoa there for about eight dollars. Since my vegetable supply of meal prep is running low, I also picked up some fresh broccoli. By the time I realized it, I had cooked everything in my e-cookbook. What to meal prep for beginners? Not only will you get three recipes for one high protein meal under 600 calories, you will also get a free workout ebook. Get 10% off when you sign up to my weekly newsletter. The link will be in the description and the link tree in my bio. Download your copy today. And they're all valid. And they're all valid. And there's this tiptoe game that you have to play kind of be PC. And I'm not one of those people who will say, Oh, I keep it real. I keep it real. Eh, eh. But maybe it's just because how I look at things, but in synopsis, in conclusion, what I would say in a lot of those terms or, 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 or times and people have told me like how they felt about this particular area in regards to people going to look at me. I would tell you this. They will. They are. Because you are a person in a gym with multiple people and people are looking at everybody in their surroundings. And I would advise you to to do the same, too. I look at everybody in the gym. I don't stare. There's a difference. I want to be aware of who I am around. That's just me. That's just how I've been brought up. That is just how I look at the world because anything can happen. Anytime you're too lax in a public place, that's when, you know, you put yourself more at risk to not protect yourself just in case something jumps off. So again, yes, people are looking at you, but they're not looking at you like that. They're not worried about you like that. I will say that now I'm not a woman and I do understand that women go through something totally different than what men go through me as a man. So I can just speak off of what clients have told me. And that was another factor into starting my home gym and training clients from my home gym is because of this right now. There are some creeps out there. There are some freaking weirdos, some stories and the stories that I've been told from my clients, from my female clients is mind boggling. And that's just because I just don't think that way. I don't just don't think that's the right place to where, you know, people are just doing too much. And guys are doing way, way too much. So I get that part. So I get that part. But the embarrassment about, you know, how I look and I'm on, you know, I'm not up to, to, to what do you want to call it? 
you know, a typical gym goer, fit etiquette, whatever the case may be from clothes or whatever. Now I just tell you like this before I start this article again, is that, um, yes, people are looking, um, there's a 90, let's say 90, let's say there's a 90% chance. Ain't nobody thinking about you like that. You know, um, they're not thinking like, Oh, well, why is she here? or Anything like that. And, it's it's not that, but I can't negate how you feel on how you interpret the world because maybe you did go through something. Maybe people did go through something to make them feel like that. But I can tell you is that ain't nobody thinking about you like that. Back to the article. Gyms are for everybody. While stepping foot in a gym can be intimidating feet, especially if it seems like everyone else knows what they're doing. Keyword. It looks like (laughs) and it seems like everyone knows what they're doing. I can tell you this. Nah, (laughs) it's good to remember that everyone there was a novice once. This is true. And most gyms are filled with people of all shapes, sizes and fitness levels. This is true as well. One of the best things about the gym is that every single person there is working towards being fitter and healthier, whether that's by losing a bit of weight or working on reaching a new personal best. Watkins says, while it's easy to feel like you're being judged by others, especially as a beginner, the truth is that most gym goers are too busy focusing on their own goals to worry about other people. I just told you that. Ain't nobody worried about you. Not like that. Um, the majority when people are focusing on what they're focusing on. And when you got multiple people focusing on what they're focusing on, 90% of people focusing on what they're focusing on. And maybe you got 10% who are, you know, looky lookies and creeps or, you know, just whatever served, you know, too much, uh, PDA, you know, you see that in the gym. Um, you know, that's just a 10%, you know, that's a, that's a rare, that's a rare look, you know, does it happen? Yes. And you won't be 100% protected all the time from everything. And it's just something that you go, you go through in life when you, when you're around people, people are going to people. We all know that. And the gym is no different people. People are going to people. And as long as you're on your square and as long as you stay, you know, aware of your surroundings, then I believe you should be fine. Back to the article, how to start working out. To get started, Watkins recommends doing activities that you enjoy and doing them in a comfortable setting. Online workouts and in-person fitness classes are a great way to build your confidence and get familiar with different exercises that you can then implement as part of a solo workout, she says. Programs like Couch to 5K are perfect for complete beginners looking to get fitter. One of the best things about running outdoors is that nobody knows how far you've run. There is no need to feel insecure about being a bit sweaty or out of breath as any passerby I won't know whether you're on one minute or one mile or one hour into a run. Remember, everyone starts somewhere. If you wait until you're good at something to start, you never will be. And this is so true. This is this is so true. And this is where I can help you out. Like I said earlier, I do offer Zoom online workouts and I offer in person one on one and fitness classes. I like to train one-on-one. I've done group, didn't really care for that. Just the logistics of keeping people schedule and starting on time and having to wait for too many people. I'd rather just deal with just one person. And that is where my speciality is, I believe. And if you are looking for a one-on-one personal trainer and you are in the Peoria, Illinois area, Christians wait success.net. I will have my link in the description and there you will see the services that I I provide as well as prices. And if you are not, if you are not, if you are not in the Peoria, Illinois area, and you are looking for an online program, I offer Zoom. I offer Zoom sessions, one-on-one Zoom sessions. And you can go to my website, ChristiansWaitSuccess.net, and there you will get all the information that you need, hopefully, to start. So, you know, we can start, we can start. So remember, everyone starts somewhere. And if you wait until you're good at something to start, you never will. You never will. You never will. So let's go back to the article. Overcoming mental barriers. If it's a mental barrier holding you back, Watkins says, 
Setting small but manageable goals can help. Focus on yourself rather than comparing yourself to others, she advises. Surround yourself with the support of friends. Find a friend to join you on your fitness journey or go to group classes. And, 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 and join my Facebook group, Success Fitness Family. And we are a community full of just pretty much just cool people. There are people who work out at home. There are people who work out at the gym and we post our achievements. We post our ups, we post our downs and we post our funny stuff and we post our indulgent meals, judge free zone. Just hit us up on Facebook, success fitness family. And there you can find a community of like-minded people just like you that can also give you some manageable fitness tips and and goals to try to achieve. Try an at-home workout instead. It's worth remembering that you don't have to go to a gym or even step foot outside to work out. You can get a complete workout done for free in the comfort of your own home. If getting an online personal trainer is out of your budget, YouTube is filled with tons of free home workouts, Watkins says. And I have over 1,100 videos, legit. 1100 videos on YouTube in at least let's go ahead and say 60% of those are workouts that you can follow. You can do, you can take small portions and bring them all together, compile them anywhere from workouts at home, home workouts, workouts for women, whether they're bicep and tricep, whether they're back workout, leg workout, chest workout, core workout, I got it all covered. <laughs> I got it all covered. So just go to the link that's in my bio and it will lead you right to my YouTube channel. And you can go through the playlist that I have selected and curated. And hopefully that you can start there. You can start there. And if you're looking to take it another step further, again, go to my website, christiansweightsuccess.net. And if you are not in the Peoria, Illinois area, you can go there too, because I also also offer Zoom classes, Zoom services for one-on-one personal training. And if you are in the Peoria, Illinois area, again, go to my website, christiansweightsuccess.net. And you can look at the services that I offer and I provide for in-person one-on-one training. Watkins recommends looking for body weight or hit high intensity interval training workouts. As these often include exercise, don't require you to buy equipment. YouTube even has workouts that are inspired by specific artists or genres of music. The options are endless, she adds. Try searching for home workouts inspired by your favorite singer or style of music. It'll be much more enjoyable if the soundtrack to your workout is exclusively made up of songs you love. And that concludes today's article of how to overcome gym embarrassment as 68% of people are too embarrassed to exercise. So the alternative method that I offered or suggested was, you know, in-home workouts. You know, I am a firm component of at-home workouts, in-home workouts, and these can be so, let's say, vastly different, vastly different as in comparison to what you may see on line or TV or certain things that you feel like you need certain equipment in order to look right or work out right, whatever. There are so many body weight exercises that you can do where you don't have to have any equipment. And that alone, if it's structured the right way, and I think that's where people can run into a hiccup at if it's not structured the right way. But if it's structured the right way, it can be very, very, very effective. I think what holds people back I believe more than being embarrassed is to asking for help. Asking for help can be embarrassing. Asking for help can be embarrassing, but the older I get, the more I understand how we need each other, how I need you and you need me. And we are learning from each other. But my grandmother always told me a closed mouth don't get fed and I love to eat. And so with that being said is that if I have a question, I'm asked, If I need help, I'm going to ask, well, what is this? Or, you know, what is that? You know, we have Google, we have YouTube at our fingertips. You know, that is help. That can be help. 
And if you are looking for something a little bit more personal, you're not looking for a robot to answer questions for you, then once again, you can visit my website, christiansweightsuccess.net. If you are looking for more structured workouts, I'll offer online workouts, Zoom classes, in-person one-on-one training sessions. I also can write you a customized workout ebook with video instructions and written instructions on how to perform exercises based off of the equipment that you have. So I try to be a help as much as I can, but it's up to you to reach out. It's up to the person to reach out. And we, we have to find a way to get past this feeling of embarrassment that we're thinking way too much that people are thinking about us. And this world can be so selfish where people are so self-centered is that when it comes to us starting our fitness journey, when it comes to us starting our fitness journey to be healthy and be a better me or be a better you, then how do we then come to this conclusion that people are thinking about us when people are so self-centered? And so we have to start processing what it is that we feel entirely and just start asking ourselves questions and just answering them. You know, as I stated earlier, have I been embarrassed going to a gym before? I can say no. You know, has somebody else possibly been? I can say yes. And then it's what does that look like? You know, start to unpack certain things versus just leaving things with big question marks or it is what it is. That's just that's just the way it is. And it's it doesn't have to be that that way. You know, things are what they are because they've probably been what they've been for the time that they have been. But that does not mean that they have to be this way going forward. So with that being said, this brings us to the end of another episode of the Success Fitness Podcast. If you are looking for one on one personal training sessions with me in Peoria, Illinois, then book me at ChristiansWeightSuccess.net. And if you are looking to start your fitness journey this year and the best way to start off is to start with your nutrition because working out is only 20 percent the 80 percent is nutrition and a part of your nutrition is to understand how many calories you are supposed to intake every day and how many carbs how many grams of fat and how many grams of protein and all three of those are your macros or your macronutrients and i have a free 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 ebook called how many calories should i eat it is a guide to help you find your number based off your height your gender and your age and your fitness goals you will put this information into the website and it will give you a recommended number to follow um, and that number is your daily caloric intake that will help you reach your goal. So the link to that is in my description. I hope you have a great rest of the week, a great 2024 and Lord willing, I will see you next week. And remember, if it's not making you stronger, just chant more weight, more weight, more weight. Peace out.